Good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending the uh, school committee meeting tonight and with respect to the horrible weather. Um, could you please join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next item is hearing of visitors. There are none, so we shall move on to the consent agenda. Uh, <clears throat> is there anyone that would like to remove an item for discussion? Second. All in favor? Okay. Um, report of superintendent of schools. Good evening. Um, first of all, I just want to update the committee uh, to let you know that letters have gone out to parents uh, at the Hancock, uh, the Raymond, and the B.B. Russell School concerning the park field testing. I know there are meetings coming up, I believe, with the, uh, the PACs of those schools, and there will be dialogue. Uh, we'll be able to answer questions parents might have, and we'll be able to share with them some of the play, uh, things that the district I is putting in place. Um, I also want to uh, let the committee know that this week um, I had the opportunity, actually last week I had the opportunity to visit uh, a classroom at the Kennedy School, a second grade classroom. Um, I want to thank my second graders that did all kinds of writing samples for me and as I go out to the schools I, I think that's something that I'm going to look to to see some of the student work. It was very interesting to actually speak with the teachers, uh, see what the children's work is and I just want to let the parents know uh, kids are doing terrific, uh, excellent opportunity. And while this is the uh, holiday season I also want to let you know that I visited <coughs> schools on wheels. And those of you that you pretty much know this program as a program that gives out backpacks to needy children, uh, many of our children that are living in homeless shelters, um, but it was much, much more than that. I spent quite a bit of time with them uh, at their office on West Chestnut Street, and I'd like to invite them to actually come before the school committee sometime early next year. It started out in uh, Cheryl Opper's home, and it has grown so large she was able to get this facility, and they have outgrown this facility. Donations come in. It's not just about backpacks, it's about tutoring. It's about supporting kids that are living in homeless shelters, that they have opportunities to take SATs, to go visit colleges. And you know, they have a lot of support, a lot of volunteers. We've partnered with them a long time. And again, I would like to invite them to come to a school committee to, to present to you. Um, another thing is, uh, I was just talking to Mr. Minicello, Sorry? He only has a question oh, or sorry. a comment. Wasn't she honored at the Breakfast of Champions? She was. Okay, All right, same moment. Yeah, yeah. She quite, was. Quite as, I said, as I said, for a program that started out small, I guess it was something that Cheryl had seen going on in California and had conversation with a woman out there. And it has grown to include, as I said, you know, numbers of volunteers. Um, kids from the high school go and put the backpacks together. They're providing right now uh, a decorated box decorated for the holidays uh, by other kids. I think they brought in some of our special needs students and made it a holiday box decorated with goodies for the kids so that everybody has something special. So it's uh, just, just a wonderful organization. I want to thank them for all they do and, and invite them to come here. On another note, um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what's ahead. We will be having, I believe, on uh, January, I think it's the second meeting in January, we're going to be having our presentation on MCAS. We had talked about it previously. We had given you a snapshot, I believe it was in October, when we got our testing results. I now have had opportunities to get out and speak to a number of our priority schools. I'd like to be able to share with you some of the plans that are in place. Uh, Dr. Cancel will do a more in-depth presentation. I'll share with you some of the plans uh, going forward. I believe it's the 21st of January. And uh, I, the other thing that we talked about was the accelerated uh, Ed eval plan that we're putting together. I'd like to be able to present that to you on the 21st. And in the spirit of that, we had talked about the superintendent's evaluation. And we have some dates from Jim Hardy. I believe the uh, 28th of January, it's a Tuesday. It's one of our off nights, a subcommittee meeting night, and I'd like to uh, be able to invite Jim to come into the district to work with us on the superintendent evaluation. 
Great. Um, any uh, questions or comments from anyone? Um, what do you? Um, what is the background of that individual, um, Mrs. Smith? Oh, Jim Hardy is, I'm sorry, he is uh, an, uh, an executive member, he's not the executive director, I'm not sure exactly of his title, but he works for the Mass Association for School Committees, he does extensive training for new school committee members. Uh, I actually attended this training that he did this summer, I happened to be there going over uh, Robert's Rules and a number of sessions that they had, I think it was in July. So this is something that they do offer for new school committee members, I think it's important that as we seat a new school committee, and also so we've adopted Baseline Edge, so it's kind of twofold. It'll be an opportunity to share uh, certainly the goals of the superintendent coming out of entry and now going into goal setting. And at the same time, hopefully when we provide the training for our teachers with Baseline Edge, we'll also be able to provide our school committee members with the same training. And this would be something you can use, again, right on your iPads. We'll make sure everybody you know, has the technology needed and you can work with the, uh, with the Edaval documents. And it's, it is exactly what the teachers are doing. It gives you an opportunity to see what the teachers are doing, what the principals are doing. Because as you know, one of the things that we have to do at the end of this school year is have 100% of our teachers reported under the Edaval. So 100% is 100%. So we're working hard to make sure that, that the evaluation goes smoothly and uh, that's, that's our intent, including the superintendent. Wonderful. Okay, um, anyone with anything to add? No? Okay. Um, next item I see is the ratification of the MOA between the school committee and the MTAs. I think that um, some people were working very hard on that. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Joyce, you are the um, chair of that subcommittee, are you mm -hmm. not? Yeah, it was a long haul. It took about a year to finally ratify something. And uh, I think we came up with a good agreement. So a great group of people to uh, work with, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so I'd like to make a motion to ratify the memorandum of agreement between the Brockton School Committee and the Brockton Education Power Professional Association representing the monitor teacher assistants for a three-year period from September 1, 2013 to August 31st, 2016. Uh, discussion on that motion? Um, you um, were assisted with uh, Mr. Donegan and Mr. Sullivan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, great. Um, all right, wonderful, great, great work. Um, all in favor? Unanimous, good. Okay. Um, items to refer to subcommittee? I skipped something. What did I skip? Oh, I did. Okay. Um, recognition of outgoing school committee members. I'm glad that Mr. Donegan arrived on time for this item. <laughs> um, Superintendent Smith? Do you stand or? The plaques. I texted you that I was going to be a couple minutes behind, and I also yeah, included in that text that it wouldn't really be a school committee if I were a few minutes late. So <laughs> we're glad. just wanted to. Uh, and, uh, your pattern consistent for tonight's meeting. Yep. Well, as we um, already presented, Mr. Sullivan uh, was presented with his plaque. <coughs> Uh, last week at the Finance Subcommittee meeting. Um, it is my privilege to honor and present this beautiful plaque to Anthony Jane Donegan, um, serving two years on the school committee, uh, dedicated um, public servant, certainly um, voiced his opinion with respect to many issues, uh, special ed being one of them. So um, we certainly all are going to miss you, Tony, and we would like you to uh, accept this plaque for your service. Thank you very much. Thank you, Superintendent. Welcome, Mr. Darnigan. It's been a pleasure to work with you, uh, not just certainly on the school committee. You and I go way back. Uh, you promised me that you're still going to be involved. Your sons are in the schools, and uh, I know you, uh, you will certainly be uh, a frequent visitor to the superintendent and certainly to Correct. the school committee. So. I look forward to You'll that. You'll have me to kick around for many more years to come. <laughs> and um, 
I've been, it's, it's been said in the past that sometimes I, I belabor things. I know that's hard to believe, but no, it's true. No, so no. I just wanted to let everyone know that I prepared a few remarks. Just <laughs> that's my school committee back here. Um, but I wanted to thank each and every one of my fellow members of the committee and to thank the Superintendent Smith and to particularly all of you folks who make this thing happen in the background. Uh, Wanda and, and every, everyone, the sound people, the custodial staff who, who sets the meetings up every night uh, and breaks them down. So, um, you know, there isn't really one day that I haven't enjoyed being on this committee. Um, there are times when it's tedious and difficult, but uh, never, never did I not look forward to coming to the meetings. I, I am truly going to miss all of you, working with you. Um, you know, we all make our decisions in life, and, and I made a few, uh, and, and I find myself here tonight uh, saying goodbye to you. Um, and everything happens for a reason, and, and as Superintendent Smith said, I will be back. Um, and I, I, again, just very, that's, that's really all I have to say is thank you so very, very much uh, for the opportunity. Thank, thank you, you so Tony. much. Well, our second award plaque goes to a person who is going to be leaving but yet coming back to this chair and that is Bill Carpenter. Bill, come on up. It's been an honor serving with you for four years. Thank you. I, um, I think I had a small piece of getting you to run for school committee, but uh, um, so some people are going to throw tomatoes at me and others to cheer, but um, <laughs> This is for you, Bill. It's going to be um, an honor working with you as the uh, chair of the school committee. We've all had a great time with you on the committee and um, certainly going to look forward to seeing you in your new role. Well, yeah, I'll talk to you. And again, Mr. Carpenter, I want to thank you for, for all the time. Uh, I know your dedication to the children and the families. Uh, it's important to all of us. We're, we're thrilled to, to have you sit beside us in, in a new role. And, and I decided I'm your second superintendent, and you're my second mayor. There you go. So, <laughs> so we're off to a good start. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm looking very forward to continuing to serve on the school committee as, as the chair uh, after the first of the year. and. Uh, I guess uh, thanks to Tom, I never had the opportunity to be the vice chair, so I had to go straight to chair. So. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't like that one, but, <laughs> but um, seriously, for one second, uh, it has been a, one of the great experiences in my life serving on the school committee for the past four years. More rewarding than I could have ever imagined. Um, I think the school committee really does make a difference in the lives of young people growing up in the city, working with the great professionals that we have working in the Brockton Public Schools. And uh, I probably end my four years of service on the school committee with a lot of um, things, but one of them is just a, a really greater appreciation that I ever had of the great work that the people do that work in the Brockton Public Schools, that the teachers in the classrooms to the people behind the scenes to keep the school system running. It really is a tremendous school system. We've got great kids, we've got great teachers, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting the opportunity to sit next to Superintendent Smith for the next two years. Thank you. Good. Right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll go back. Items to refer to subcommittee. Did anyone have anything they wanted to refer to? No? Wanda, thank you for correcting me. Appreciate that. Um, unfinished business. Okay. Well, we do have, um, everyone has found a motion in front of them with respect to the minutes of the December 10th finance uh, subcommittee. So uh, I would um, appreciate if someone could make a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Okay. Second. Second. Any discussion on the minutes? All in favor? Okay. Um, at that um, meeting, Many of you will recall, or all of you should recall, that we discussed submitting a, um, uh, an application to feel out the uh, building um, authority 
uh, program. Michael Thomas was going to try to um, get some data together and, and we were going to apply for some um, grant money that may or may not be um, uh, available to do some more repairs to some of our buildings. So uh, I guess what we need to do is submit a motion to um, submit the statement of interest. So there is a statement of interest on everyone's desk. Um, if someone would like to, to make that motion, um, I believe we need to read the motion in full. So Mr. Donegan, why don't you do the honors? All right, then uh, motion to authorize the superintendent to submit to the Massachusetts School Building Authority the statement of interest form dated December 17th, 2013, excuse me, 2013, for school building projects on the following schools. Ashfield Middle School, 225 Co Road, Barrett Russell School, 45 Oakdale Street, Brookda Brookfield School, 135 John Drive, Gilmore School, 150 Clinton Street, Keith Center on 175 Warren Ave, the Raymond School at 125 Oak Street, and West Middle School at 271 West Street, which describes and explains the following deficiencies and the priority categories for which an application may be submitted to the Massachusetts School Building Authority in the future. Ashfield is roof and boilers, Barrett Russell windows, Brookfield School roof, Gilmore School roof and boilers, Keith Center boiler, Raymond School boiler, West Middle School boiler, and hereby further specifically acknowledges that by submitting this statement of interest form, the Massachusetts School Building Authority in no way guarantees the acceptance or the approval of an application, the awarding of a grant or any other funding commitment from the Massachusetts School Building Authority or commits the city, town, regional school district to filing an application for funding with the Massachusetts School Building Authority. Thank you. Second, any further discussion? All in favor? Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Um, any special matters that we need to discuss putting on the agenda that date the 25th of January? I thought, um, I think that we had ar already discussed in our calendars to January 25th for a, um, a retreat. Could, um, could you guys take a quick look in your calendars to see if... I already have it in mine. I don't know if you, do you have it in yours? No? Okay. Um, January 25th? January 25th. 8 o'clock to noon time and... Good morning. Good morning. Every day we will have... I may be out of state on that day. Okay. But I mean, I don't think it's, I don't wait to reschedule it just around me. I'm sure the okay. superintendent will fill me in on what I missed. Great. I'm in Washington, D.C., the 22nd to the 24th, so my guess is I'm traveling back on the 25th. Okay. All right, so you don't have a problem with us scheduling yeah. it. Okay. No. Um, how about the new members? Open? Good. Okay. All right. Great. So um, we don't need a motion on that. We'll just basically put it in our calendars. That would be great. So we have the 25th and we have the 28th for the training, 25th for the retreat. Right. Okay. So the 28th would be the training with Mr. What is it, Jim Hardy? Or? Jim Hardy. Jim Har Hardy? H-A-R-D-Y, I oh, believe. Hardy. Hardy, okay. And a lot of this is follow-up from our August 17th uh, retreat that we had about the Edival, about the training. You know, we have new members on board, so there were some things that we spoke about at that training, and we can tie up some loose ends or any other issues that you'd like to, you know, to put on the agenda for that day. Great. Okay. Meeting. Um, could you bring our strategic goals that we formulated at the August 17th meeting? Okay. We have, a, we have a document, we have a living document that we've been referring to for the strategic goals. Okay, um, I'll have to see which ones okay. we're talking about, Mrs. Okay. I can pull out what I have and show it okay. to you. Okay, okay good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, at, at our summer retreat, we basically, you know, put together our priorities and so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. Um, <coughs> nothing for executive session. Uh, is there any other new business that anyone wants to bring up? Mr. Healy. 
I had a long conversation with uh, Carl Anderholm yesterday evening, and I'd like to report to uh, the entire school district that uh, the initiative that our elders, if you will, in the city have been working on concerning the uh, concerning the uh, the placement of uh, of the um, the nodes and so forth necessary to uh, to get our kids on track with Wi-Fi is uh, is moving along uh, fabulously. Uh, the, that committee um, of private citizens has uh, has worked together with uh, Kathy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, with Cisco, um, the Cisco company, which have very deep pockets, in conjunction with uh, Museum of Science, and they're putting forth a curriculum that's been approved by the state already. And uh, the only hurdle is, uh, of course, it involves lawyers and uh, patent uh, rights and that's the um, and that's the the use of, uh, of the pads themselves uh, which uh, I believe uh, once the state gets involved in this federal money as well and Cisco with their deep pockets I think we're going to uh, we're going to be once again uh, the most progressive uh, district in the, in the Commonwealth in that regard that would um, tie in nicely with Mrs. Joyce's suggestion at the last meeting, That's right. yeah. uh, having Dan Vigin to um, present, and also he can certainly um, elaborate on how that would mesh with what's going on in the schools. Yeah, I've asked um, I, I've asked Carl and Dan to include me in their correspondence uh, in that regard, and uh, so uh, for the next week or so, while I have the time. Um, I'm going to meet with those those gentlemen, and uh, I, uh, I I'm really excited about this. This is uh, this is great stuff. It really is. We have met with uh, Mr. Landerholm and his team, um, a number of people in the community. We've had two meetings. Myself, Mike Thomas. We've included Dan Vigent. So again, we're in very preliminary discussions about this, but when we bring uh, Dan Vigian to speak to you about technology, about park, uh, at your, your request last meeting, we can also have him at least update you on it's, it's very much in its infancy stages at this point. Well, it, according to Kyle, it's, uh, it's, it's going to start clicking real quick. See, things work a little bit quicker in the uh, real world than they do around here. I'm all through now. Anything else, Mr. Hill? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm oh, alive okay. and I'm very all happy. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other items uh, for discussion? No? Um, I saw a nice article in the paper regarding recycling with Mr. Uh, Thomas and Mr. Robinson. That was, that was very positive, very good. Congratulations on um, expanding the um, citywide, school-wide recycling from sort of pockets into a larger program. That's excellent. Um, can't go wrong there, obviously. Um, anything else? Mr. Donegan? To add to you what you said. The, it's really changed the culture of the system. I mean, when we were kids, you had to send kids out to clap races in the back of the school. Now you send kids out to do the recycling. It's sort of just all part of the school. So it's, it's really a wonderful thing. You should be proud, Andy. What's a different type of recycling? What's that? Different type of recycling. <laughs> I mean, cer certainly it's not, I'm, I'm not doing this myself. But no. A lot of great efforts already happening um, in schools and classrooms across the district, and just trying to kind of close the loop, bring it all together, really um, kind of build upon what, a pretty good foundation that was already there. And, uh, you know, we're finding it's saving money, it's, kids are learning, um, uh, you know, understanding the responsibilities that they have to school and environment and community. Uh, Mike Thomas has been awesome, the superintendent and her office have been really cooperative and we've been fortunate to have some really great partners. Um, Republic Waste in the city um, donated almost $20,000 worth of uh, recycle bins and, and tote rollers and uh, other um, services and information and advice and um, 
the BEA applied uh, to the Mass Teachers Association and got a $5,000 grant that'll support education. We were able to get matching funds for a group in Tanzania that I, I was able to meet and work with while I, while I was on my trip to Africa. Um, that's also working on recycling with youth in a, in a country a half a world away. Mm -hmm. um, and Thursday, we're, we're excited, we're hoping, um, we, we've set up an opportunity to try to Skype with a group of youth from the, the group we, we donated to um, in, in a science class here at the school. Um, Joyce Voorhees in, in one of her science classes. Um, we, we've done the preliminary setup and we got our fingers crossed that when the time comes to hit the dial button, there's somebody on the other end in Tanzania who's gonna be able to pick up um, and, and give our students an opportunity to talk with other young people just like them working to improve their environment and, and uh, you know, meet the, the kind of uh, you know, social responsibility that, that, that they feel like they have and um, hopefully it'll just continue to build from there. Um, so a lot of exciting things happening um, but with the cooperation of a lot of really great people throughout the system. So. Great. Um, before we adjourn, Superintendent Smith, can you just comment today on how things went with respect to getting our students home in light of the um, weather? You know, it, it's one of these things, we, Mike and I spoke early this morning. Once we got in, we brought a team together. We made sure we talked to community schools that has many after school activities, extended day, you know, was there until six o'clock in the evening. Parents are counting on that for daycare. Uh, we brought Suzanne Martin into the mix at the Adult Learning Center. Uh, we contacted Jim Cobbs. We spoke to Sharon Walder. So, so we spent quite a bit of time making sure we had input from everybody as well as, you know, keeping uh, alert as to what was happening, you know, with the weather in our area. Um, again, the decisions were made to, you know, cancel all after school activities. And it was interesting because when you look at the sports, we also were talking to Billy Devon. And uh, we had a group going to BC High and they made a decision not to have anyone. They were closing their school, I believe. We had Quincy coming here for girls basketball. Again, made a decision not to have the kids travel far. So in the end, all of our sports were also canceled. All our intramurals were canceled. The one thing, um, as far as the kids getting home, Everyone got home safely. Um, we had one van that was rear-ended, I believe. That's in the report going home to you. No children were injured. The roads are obviously slippery. Uh, Mr. Thomas does an excellent job working with the high school to have the buses start a little bit early at the high school. And by virtue of that, everyone pretty much runs on time. I think we had one school where the buses were 10, 10 minutes late at the Downey. So that to me was a success. Now we did make the decision to hold the school committee meeting tonight. Uh, Mr. Minicello made it very clear to me this morning when I saw him that we were having our school committee meeting tonight. We are hearty souls. It was, <laughs> we're New Englanders. It was important for us to, to finish the year off. Uh, now we do have the holiday concert this evening. Um, you know, I am very hopeful that we told parents to use their discretion. Um, in getting the, the children here. Nobody will be penalized if somebody, you know, certainly doesn't show up. Uh, we hope we have a lot of tickets, a lot of people that are counting on this. Um, and it will be something that I look at. We do have a snow day built in. Uh, but again, we made the decision to go with it this evening. Also, of course, we have it tomorrow evening. Um, so again, I'm, I'm hoping that it's a success and everybody gets to and from the high school safely this evening. Great. Okay, anyone else or uh, entertain a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Thank you.